Welcome back everybody. We are today going to do a little job for who else? Dalton. Um, I had actually sold my Lincoln welder a while ago. Um, I have no engine drive welder. I do have an engine drive welder, that's a lie. Uh, it's currently in pieces. I picked that up a few months ago. I'm getting some things powder coated. I need new injectors. It's a little bigger. So I'm kind of down for the mobile part. So uh, today I'm going to go over to Dalton's and we got kind of a little makeshift setup down at his yard to uh, weld up on one of his trailers. So hope you guys like it. I just stopped at the gas station, got me a coffee. I got the cooler filled with water and Gatorade and uh, let's head on over there. Alright guys, here we go. I'll show you what we got going on here. Dalton's uh, ooh, a little bright there. Dalton's got a uh, mud flat bracket that we need welded on his trailer. You can see right here. And it's just going to get welded right there. I'm going to touch up. Someone welded that. I'm going to grind that out and touch that crack up for him. And uh, yeah, he should be good. So quick little job. bagel action but uh, you guys don't know New Jersey's famous for pork roll Taylor ham whatever the hell you want to call it pork roll. it's pork roll but uh, it's a breakfast meat and it's the best stuff ever so pork roll egg and cheese like a bacon egg and cheese sausage egg and cheese for people that don't live in New Jersey but for the people who watch who live in New Jersey you already know so as I told you, I don't have a welding machine on my truck anymore. Uh, I plan on having one on there very soon, but today we're rolling on a budget setup. We got the Predator generator and we got the Miller Max Star. Uh, I'm actually glad I kept this thing around for a little job like this. So you don't need all the bells and whistles to get these little jobs done really. Uh, kind of balling on a budget if you are balling on a budget you can get away with uh, a generator and a welder for stuff if you're really hurting for money and stuff so uh, that's what we're doing he needs it done he's going to a big fancy truck show so he wants his uh, stuff to look good and I don't blame him he's got nice looking stuff so we got to do it and uh, I know a lot of you were pretty offended when I uh, told you that he gives me beer for payment well as you just saw the breakfast sandwich that was part of the payment and uh Guess what? More beer as a payment. So, listen, people. He's my best friend. I ain't going to charge him. He's, uh, you know, we do this together. So, hey, there you go. There he is. Yeah. There he is. Everyone can see him. He's not, he ain't too keen on the camera, but you don't charge your best friends, people. That's just rude. Now, listen, if I owned a business, which I don't, which a lot of you should know, um, it, things might be different. Dalton owns his own business. I would own my own business. We'd probably do things legit. Uh, you know, pay, checks, all this stuff, uh, then I would charge them for what I would do. But I don't own a business because I'm not a businessman. And uh, it's as simple as that. So there he goes. He's also a good uh, helper, too. He gets all my stuff ready for me, and it's just great. So, all right, let's uh, get everything set up, and we'll start ripping and gripping. All right, got to do a little, little prep work, get some of them welds uh, ground down a little bit, get some of the rust off. Clean this up, dulled it a little bit. I'm just gonna touch it up a little more. And uh, he just ran out to get some fuel and we'll uh, get this thing running and see how she works. She's 
prepped up, uh, just waiting for some gas and get this thing rocking and rolling. So he's got the old Predator like I showed you. See how that thing runs. He said it runs pretty good. So I've never actually used my uh, little blue welder on a generator before. So we'll see how she powers up. Uh, I got, we're going to run it on 110 because we don't have any plugs that fit that, uh, uh, 220 plugs that fit that generator um, that have the same configuration. So I'm just going to run it on 110, probably on the bigger bigger amp circuit. And so I'll be running 332 second, uh, 7018 because I can probably run 85, 90 amps max when it, that thing's on 110. So we'll uh, get it set up and start getting this thing ready. All right, here we go. Got it all ground up. Got a little clamp right there. Uh, he wants this, you know, obviously pretty square the truck so uh, what we'll do is he'll take a tape measure he'll measure from here to there here to there get the same measurement you know if it needs to tweak it can go back forth all that stuff so uh, I can get a couple tacks on it and then uh, we should be able to weld this thing so let's uh, find a good spot to put this magnet on welding this I'll explain to you once I'm done why I'm MIG welding it all right little update uh, nothing has gone to plan Dalton had to bring his MIG welder because um, my stick welder wasn't working with his generator uh, we just ran out of wire on his stick well on his MIG welder um, shielding gas or uh, MIG wire and it was 024 and he had a spool of 035 flux core but we don't have a tip for it so now he's taking my truck back and here he goes oh man i don't i've never heard my truck outside of my truck that thing sounds pretty nice but uh yeah he's hooked up to the trailer so i said he don't live far from here he said just just take my truck go get the the consumable box you got at your house but yeah nothing nothing's going to plan it's just turning kind of into a show but uh yeah for some reason the Max Star and the Predator just wasn't jiving. Uh, it kept tripping the breaker with it not even just turning it on. So Dalton's got this little Lincoln. I got some some uh, some welds on here with his his welder. Uh, the welder was really screwing up. It was uh, I got a bird's nest. It's just not been our day so far on a beautiful Sunday morning. So he's going to get more tips. Hopefully I can finish this thing with the flux core. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's just uh, not been our morning. So we'll keep going. Hey, listen, you're going to have that. Obviously, this isn't a paying job. This is a, you know, help a friend out kind of job. But you're going to have this kind of luck sometimes. You can ask anyone. Ask any anyone who's in business, really. Any welders, anyone who's in business. You're going to have days like this. And uh, this is supposed to be a quick come here for an hour or two. Finish this up. It's now almost 11 o'clock haven't got very far uh we had people stop by they saw us working so you know when people like to stop by they chit chat so that took a little time and i think this is dalton's third trip back to his house between getting his welder getting something else he needed for his trailer he's working on it's just uh but we're getting it we're gonna get it done we're gonna get this thing welded back on and uh go enjoy the rest of our sunday so when he gets back with the tips we'll start cranking it out
right guys we are done uh, I got this crack pound out for a later date when I can get a stick welder over here we got that welded on ran out of uh, welding gas right at the end so it's on we just kind of tugged on it it ain't going nowhere but the MIG welder and the generator worked but the stick welder and the generator did not work so it is what it is you'll get those kind of jobs i guess this is for dalton so if he says it's good it's good but that should wrap up today a uh, quick little one wasn't planning on all the problems but uh that happens now you're gonna enjoy me a nice gatorade look at that anyone else still see those around the little twist guys I like a good yellow gatorade here and there uh this also goes to show that you don't need uh Fancy bells and whistles to get a job done. You know, we're running off a Harbor Freight generator. We're running off a Home Depot welder. You know, you can get it done with minimal stuff. Now, I'm not saying you can go pipeline weld with a setup like that or go fix a broken excavator. But for people just starting out, if you're strapped for cash and uh, you want to get into this side work or even if you wanted to start your own business, uh, that's the way to do it. You know, you can do it just like this. Obviously, get a stick welder that works with the generator if you're going to stick weld stuff. But the MIG welder, or, an welder. or yeah, or or an engine-driven welder. You know, if my if my welder uh, was ready, which it's not. I don't know if you guys know, but I sold my old Lincoln. I have a new one. I think I mentioned before. Uh, I'm just waiting for parts for it. And if I had that set up, uh, this wouldn't have been a problem. This would have been done probably about two hours ago. Dalton's over there laughing because he knows it's true. But uh, that's it, you know. Come prepared. Uh, we thought we were prepared with the stick welder and a generator. Just to find out that the stick welder doesn't cope with that generator. I have no idea why, but maybe it's the... Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know. But luckily he went and grabbed his MIG welder. We got it done. He's happy. He can get his mud flap on. He'll give it a little spray paint. And uh, he's taking this whole shebang and his big rig up to a big gear jammer show in New Hampshire next week. So we're uh, getting it done. So just goes to show you can get stuff done with the bare, bare minimum. It is what it is. Got my truck all nastied up now. Got to load up, go home, go grocery shopping, mow the lawn, enjoy my Sunday. Uh, I got on a job. I'm working six days a week, so Sunday's my only free day right now. I know the content has been a uh, lack thereof the last month and a half. I've been relatively busy with uh, working on my house and then getting an overtime job. So uh, I'm trying to pump some stuff out for you. Don't know, he's just got something. So Sundays might be my day to start doing some stuff. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do the whole nine shoot me a comment i love all the comments you know even the even the critics out there even the critics you know still comment comments are good and uh that's it we'll uh get this thing wrapped up and call it a day thank you guys we're gonna enjoy the day watch all the traffic go and we're gonna get out of here we'll catch you guys on the next video don't know when try to get something happening for you but we'll get it figured out see you guys later